Hey what's up guys this is ABB Effects and today I'm gonna show you how to create a Wolverine effect in After Effects. So let's begin. So now we go to our file menu and select a new project and then we double click on it and import our footage. Okay now select the point where the fist is perfectly closed. Now go to your animation section and select the mocha e if you have mocha e. I have Mocha Pro so I go with Mocha Pro so click open your Mocha Pro now go to file and choose your footage and open it in your Mocha E now go to your frames and select 82 and magnify it so it will zoom and set a keyframe on it now hit the T and it's gonna start tracking your fist Okay guys now our tracking is completed so we go to export it so click ex export and select our after effect transform data position scale and rotation and copy the clipboard. So now go to our after effect and create a null object and go to our first frame and now we are gonna paste it so go to edit and paste it. Okay now we are gonna import our class and uh, set the composition retail frame layer size ok and drag it to our composition and now we are gonna set the position of our clubs in our fist where it's looking good now we are gonna parent our clubs with our null ok now you can see that our clubs will be perfectly tracked with our fist so we go to our next step in our second step what we gonna do that we gonna set this collapse inside our hand so what we gonna do that we gonna select P for position and select S for our scale and now press U for see the both keyframes and go to a little bit forward frames ok it here is good now we gonna set our collapse to our fist and so now we position it little bit back and down and scale it small okay now we can set it little bit it's looking good we can set a little bit more adjustment and okay it's little good for me and the same keyframes we gonna set in the end of the clip so first we gonna see that it's perfectly open okay now what we gonna do that we go to our last frame and copy all these frames and paste it there now we gonna adjust these keyframes so the first keyframe will be go in the end and the end keyframe will go in the front so we can do it now we gonna set a little bit adjustment for our class so make it now we go to our 82 frame and uh, crop our clip of clubs so just drag it to the 82 frames and the same process in the end now you can see that I will split our footage and now what we gonna do that select our main footage and duplicate it so take it and drag it to the top and now we gonna mask it so select our hand and mask it we gonna make a rough marks and now we gonna track it so select the position and rotation and start tracking now our tracking is completed so you can see that our mask will be perfectly tracked 
with our fish so you can see that it will be looking so good so what we gonna do that we gonna frame the work area in 2 seconds ok and trim it now select the clause footage and null and pre-composite and name it clause and select ok now we gonna duplicate the clause and uh, rename it blood ok and drag to our composition now double click on it and set the keyframe where the clause will be fully visible now we're gonna select a clause and mask it so we can uh, select a pen tool and gonna mask and then we're gonna little bit feather it so it will look cool and like a blood now we go back to our blood comb and select uh, uh, effects panel type of fill and now drag it to our blood comb and uh, adjust the color will be red so, so we will select the dark color as a blood so it will looking so good okay now what we gonna do that we go and double click on it, on it and hit the P button and deselect this watch okay now we go to our effect panels and type here uh, rough edges okay now we drag it to our class now we gonna play with the borders and edge sharpness to look it good now we gonna select our border and sharpness and adjust the keyframes where the blur will be shown and automatically heals so we gonna start ok guys now we can see that it will heals perfectly and now what we gonna do that select our blood composition layer and duplicate it and select the overlay so we gonna select this overlay ok now you can see that our blood will be more dark ok now what we gonna do that we go to our gaussian blur and drag it down and uh, set to 10 it's maybe 15 okay it's good so now we gonna select our mask layer and mask layer and duplicate this and select overlay and the main footage duplicate this and overlay so it's color grade and now what we're gonna do we're gonna create a solid so we're gonna create a solid now and drag it up to the top and mask it so a clip and double click on it so it gonna mask and invert this mask and feather it the higher percent of 20 thousands or 1 thousands okay now it's looking good now we're gonna select an adjustment layer now go to our effect panel and search uh, uh, magic bullets ok there is magic bullet and go to magic bullet looks and drag it to adjustment layer and edit and now we go to select edit and now we go to our color play and potato corn so the color will be selected ok and you can see that the color grading is also good now what we gonna do that we go to our project panel so click on this and go to our project panel and new composition so there is a final 
and the resolution the resolution is 1920 to 800 as a anamorphic resolution and drag our footage in it and uh, you can now see that it will really fit okay you can now see that when i render it it will looks good so gonna render it okay it's looking so good and so the time to go now okay so thank you guys for watching this video and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel if you want more videos so please hit the bell icon and please comment because no one comment on my channel thank you guys and bye